Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will see how electricity reaches our home. Electricity is generated at generating station. There are different types of generating station exist in the world. It may be hydroelectric generating station, thermal power plant, nuclear power plant, etc. From generating station, it is transferred to distribution substation using a transmission lines. Transmission line may be either underground or overhead. In distribution substation, we reduce the voltage from 220 kV or higher voltage to 430 volts that is standard 3 phase voltage. Distribution substation you may see in high rise building or in your apartment complex. Electricity is generated in generating station or power plants. In all these power plants, some form of energy is converted to electrical energy. In hydroelectric power station, kinetic energy of running water converted to electrical energy. In thermal power plant, heat energy converted to electrical energy. In nuclear power station, nuclear energy is converted to electrical energy. Renewable power plant, renewable energy, solar, wind, etc. converted to electrical energy. Let's look at a basic diagram of a hydroelectric power station. You can see water is stored on higher level, higher reservoir. It has a potential energy and it is transferred to lower levels. So, this potential energy of water is converted to kinetic energy. This kinetic energy is used to rotate the turbine. So, this kinetic energy is converted to mechanical energy. This turbine is attached with a generator. This generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. From this generator, it is step up. Normally, the electricity is produced at 11 kV. Then it is step up, maybe 220 kV or more using a step up transformer then it is transferred through transmission lines this is a picture of a step up transformer you can see it here it has more number of winding in the secondary coil number of winding will be higher in the secondary coil electricity is generated normally at 11 kV and it is increased or stepped up using a step up transformer to 220 kV or more for the long distance transmission why we are using step up transformers it is used to minimize the losses we have seen the generating station. The next component is a transmission line. Transmission line may be either overhead lines or underground cables. Electricity is transferred from generating station to the distribution substation through the transmission lines. If we look at the picture, this is a picture of underground cable. One is directly buried in the ground. The other one which is in the trench. The material used for underground cable is either copper or aluminium. Normally, this underground cables is used for short distance transmission. If the distance is more, we don't use underground cable in general cases because it is difficult to install and it is expensive. Voltage carry capacity maximum limited up to 66 kV in general cases because if we increase the voltage higher, then we need more effective insulation. It is difficult to get effective insulation above 66 kV. There are some advantages also. It is safer than overhead transmission. It is more reliable than overhead transmission. The other one is overhead transmission lines. You may have seen this in your locality. There is a tower and above the tower transmission lines are going. This transmission used for long distance transmission. It can be used for relatively higher voltage than the underground cables and it is less expensive. What is the material generally used for this overhead transmission? The material used is AZSR, Aluminium Conductor Steel Reinforced. There is a steel stand in the middle, above that aluminium strands attached. This is the construction of AZSR, Aluminium Conductor Steel Reinforced. There are some advantages of this material, high tensile strength, economical design, less weight, suitable for medium and long periods, fewer supports, etc. The next component is distribution substation. The function of distribution substation is directly opposite to the function of a step up transformer. It reduces the voltage. It reduces the high voltage into low voltage. For example, our three phase voltage is 440 volt in India. So a distribution substation or final substation reduces the higher voltage into 440 volts. In distribution substation, step down transformers are used. In generating station, step up transformers. In distribution substation, step down transformers are used. Let's look at a wider picture. This is an electrical grid. 
you can see electricity generated in power plant at 11 kV and it is stepped up using a step up transformer from 11 kV to 220 kV. There are transmission lines that are also 220 kV. Then you can see the distribution substations 220 kV to 33 kV, then 32 kV to 11 kV. In some buildings, direct 11 kV is supplied. Some building 11 kV step down to 440 volt. That is the standard three phase voltage in India. If you look at this picture in detail, you can see multiple power producing stations here. This is a picture of a thermal power plant, then hydroelectric power station, then wind farm, etc. Then there are multiple consumers, industrial consumers, commercial consumers, residential consumers and distribution network. All this arrangement is together called grid. That is all this energy produced from power plant, hydroelectric power plant is scattered to a grid. From the grid, the consumers draw the energy or draw the electrical power. What is the advantage of a grid? For example, we have some maintenance scheduled for two weeks in a thermal power plant. If there is no grid, what will happen? We have to turn off this power plant, then there won't be any supply for these consumers. But if there is a grid, we are connecting the power output from power plant, then renewable power, then hydroelectric power, etc. So what will happen? If there is a maintenance or breakdown in one power plant, you can scatter the requirement from other power plant or from other power grid from other state also. So all these components are interconnected and form a grid. Considering there is only one power plant in the grid, then we have to add one. What do we have to do? For adding power plants or energy source to a grid, request synchronization. Synchronization means we are matching the different properties of power with the existing one or we are synchronizing the current power and the new power which will feed to the grid. This is for the basic understanding of the grid. All these components and power grid will cover in detail in coming videos. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about how electricity reaches our home and electricity transmission. See you in the next video. Bye.